The Polar Bear Sun, an Inuit tale, retold and illustrated by Lydia Dabkovich. Way up north, all alone in a little hut at the edge of an Inuit village, there lived an old woman. She had no family, no strong sons to hunt for her. The old woman tried to fend for herself by fishing and gathering seeds and berries. But often she was unsuccessful and had to depend on her neighbors for food. One day, out on the ice, the old woman found a little white polar bear cub. His mother must have been killed, the old woman thought. So she took him home. Back in her hut, the old woman fed the cub, sharing with him the little food she had. I will call you Kanikjuuk, she said. Kanikjuuk, my son. Kanikjuuk was happy with the old woman. He was a friendly, round, and fluffy little bear. All the children of the village loved to play with him, tumbling about and sliding on the snow. Spring, summer, and long, dark winter passed. Kanikjuuk grew quickly. When spring came again, he was big and strong enough to go hunting and fishing for the old woman. Soon, the old woman had plenty of meat and fish to eat, furs to keep her warm, and blubber for cooking. And as is the custom of the Inuit, she shared every good catch with the bear and with the whole village. Come, called the old woman proudly. There's more than enough for all of us. The villagers took the food, but in time the hunters grew angry because Kanikjuuk was much better at hunting than they were, and they were jealous that the old woman had found such a good provider. They decided to kill Kanikjuuk, but the children overheard the hunter's plan and ran to warn the old woman. The old woman went from house to house, pleading with the villagers to spare her clever young bear. Kanikjuuk is my son, she said. Do not take him away from me. The bear is getting too big and too strong. He's dangerous, they said. We will kill him tomorrow. He will make a fine feast for the village, and his fur will keep us warm. The old woman rushed back home. She told Kanikjuuk that he had to leave at once. Go, she said. Go quickly and do not come back. Crying bitterly, she begged him not to forget her. So Kanikjuuk left. Sadly, the old woman and the children watched him disappear into the distance. Now the old woman was alone again. From time to time, when she felt very lonely and hungry, she left her hut early in the morning and went very far out on the ice. Then she called, Kanikjuuk, Kanikjuuk, my son. She did not have to wait long before a big polar bear came running to meet her. It was Kanikjuuk big and strong and sleek and glossy. The old woman always looked him over carefully, making sure that he had not been injured. Then Kanikjuuk brought her salmon and seal. They ate some of it together, and the old woman took the rest home with her. This went on for many years, and up to this day, the Inuit tell the story of the faithful bear, Kanikjuuk, and the old woman who brought him up. <laughs>